A reading rainbow. A reading rainbow. A reading rainbow. I'm just popping these videos out left and right right now. I uh, hope you guys liked the last video on bones and the potential impact grounding can have on your skeletal system. I just wanted to talk about quickly you, your electrical body, electrons, how they move, where you can get them, and this thing called the matrix. Maybe we'll, we'll wait on that part. Um, also, this video is sponsored by It's Free. Uh, I've got a discount code for you too, 10% off of all of It's Free products. Just use code It's Free at checkout. Link is in my bio, it's free.com slash rock. So, your body is composed of very delicate electrical machinery. Uh, you are a bioelectrical being in this universe, whether you like it or not, and you're sensitive to changes in your electrical environment. Frequencies, resonances, human resonances. Uh, look around at your body, it's composed of tissues and cells and fluids with specific levels of electrical conductivity. Every process, whether that's at the organ, tissue, the cellular, the molecular level, there's an electrical aspect to it. You've got molecules and ions that have to permeate electrical chemical gradients to get in and out of cells. What is electricity? It's the flow of electrons, moving kinetic energy. Your brain, your heart, your immune system, your endocrine system, your skeletal system, these are all being regulated by internal electrical signals. Um, electrolytes. Electrolytes are ions. They have a charge, um, sodium, potassium, calcium, phosphate, uh, bicarbonate, chloride. We talked a lot about calcium and phosphate in the last video. Uh, but yeah, ionic electrolytes, they transmit nerve impulses, they stabilize protein structures and enzymes, they help release hormones and endocrine glands. Um, in your plasma, they help with fluid balance, with osmosis, which controls how much water goes in and out of cells. Um, and you consume them, you take them in through your digestive tract. That's why you hear about electrolytes a lot when it comes to sports drinks. Um, helps with fluid balance. And also, who the fuck is drinking purified water? You should drink mineralized or spring water. There's nothing in pure purified water that hydrates you. It's, it's the minerals, it's the electrical properties, it's the ionic properties that help with osmosis, that help with hydrating your body. Okay, I'm done. In the bioelectrical world, electronic biology, it's all about the movement of electrons in one way or the other. Um, they are deeply interwoven with almost all the chemical reactions going on in your body right now. Life is well orchestrated movement of electrons between atoms and molecules. If you're not familiar with electrons, they're one of three main types of particles that make up atoms. Um, and atoms are the stuff of the universe. Protons, neutrons, electrons. Electrons are different from protons and neutrons in that they aren't made up of anything smaller. They're a fundamental particle and really small, they're like 2,000th the size of protons and neutrons. Um, and they make up what are called the orbitals outside of the atomic nucleus, which is where the protons and neutrons reside. And they have a negative charge to them. They're what make atoms bond to other atoms and help molecules to form. All of the redox reactions going on in your body right now, reduction, oxidation, are possible through electrons. Your immune system knows all about these electrons, and that's what it goes after with these things called free radicals or reactive species that literally rip electrons from foreign molecules and damaged cells. Um, your immune system is dependent on your electron stores. Your electron stores have a direct impact on what's called your inflammatory preparedness, or how accessible electrons are to an area of inflammation and oxidative stress. The immune system of a grounded organism and an ungrounded organism are different in that the ungrounded organism has an electron deficiency. There's a thing called the matrix that's vital to your immune system that relies on these electrons to penetrate areas of inflammation, inflammatory zones. So electrons are of obvious importance to your immune system, particularly when it comes to free radicals, the destroyers, antioxidants, the quenchers. The antioxidant relies on the electrons to donate to free radicals in order to neutralize them. When not enough are available electrons, the immune system will take an abnormal course. One of the cool things about grounding is the healing process. When people are grounded, they heal a lot quicker, and there are studies that show this. Um, 
the electron transport chain, I'm sure you've all heard of that, um, relies on the movement of electrons. When not enough electrons are available, it can desaturate this process in the mitochondria, which is used to form ATP. Oh shit. And you need ATP to do everything. Providing electrons to animals dramatically increases ATP production and protein synthesis, which are not only essential for energy, but for wound healing. You are conductive. You produce and maintain electrical currents. If you don't believe me, go get an EEG or EMG or EKG. These are all tools that measure electrical signals in your body. Shit, go get a voltmeter for like five bucks and measure what happens to induced body voltage when you're surrounded by electronics. And watch what happens to the voltmeter when you ground. The body voltage goes down. That's electrostatics at work. Your conductive body is synced up with the conductive ground. You're so sexy. You're so attractive that electrical signals love to latch onto you when you're not grounded. You become an antenna. You attract and produce energy. In this case, moving kinetic energy electrons. Alternating currents and electromagnetic fields are more than likely electrocuting you right now as we speak, as we're looking at each other through processes called capacitive coupling and electrical induction for all the nerds out there. Unless you're grounded. Um, the umbrella effect described by Nobel Prize winner Richard Feynman in his lectures on electromagnetism. You cannot be electrocuted by these electric and magnetic fields when you're grounded. It is fact, not very well known fact, that the Earth possesses a, a negative charge at its surface. Negative charge, electrons. And this is maintained by something called the global electrical circuit, or global electrical system, which is maintained by solar radiation, uh, ionospheric winds, and thunderstorms that are constantly happening all around the globe. Um, and this basically creates this abundant reservoir of free or mobile electrons at the Earth's surface. Um, free or mobile electrons, what does that mean? It means they're not attached to atoms or molecules, they're not tied down by kids or women, just kidding, but they can move freely. And since we're here, we can talk about the difference between um, electrons and ions because they both carry a charge, right? Um, electrons are negatively charged, they're just negatively charged, subatomic particles. And ions can be atoms or molecules that have a positive or negative charge, like the sodium ion, which has a positive charge, and the chloride ion, which has a negative charge. So when you're in direct contact with this surface charge, these electrons, they get conducted onto your skin and enter your body through the mucous membranes of your respiratory and digestive systems um, and through a very complex protein network. And the protein network is important. Another potential route, um, if you're familiar with acupuncture, are these acupuncture points and meridians. Meridians are thought to be these low resistance pathways for energy to flow through the body. I'm gonna relate that to grounding and say electricity. Um, I'm not too familiar with Eastern medicine modalities and acupuncture, but I'm guessing it also works through your body's connective tissue network. So something, something to think about there with in terms of acupuncture and how it really works. Um, so these electrons, they enter your body and they discharge it to the same electrical potential as the Earth. That's what is meant when I say grounded. You ground electrical equipment to discharge short circuits and prevent noise. It is remarkably similar in the body, but at the same time, more complex. All over the planet, electrical systems, grids, power stations, buildings, homes, machinery, appliances, they're all hopefully grounded to the Earth's surface electrons. Not only is this a source of electrical safety, it's also a source of health and healing. The very same ground source that protects you from short circuits is the same ground that nurtures every system and every cell in your body. So how can you get access to this electric nutrition, vitamin G, the juggernaut antioxidant? By grounding, by reconnecting yourself 
And how can you cut yourself off from this nourishment? By insulating yourself with rubberized footwear, never being barefoot, being inside all day. You get access to this electric nourishment by grounding. It's as simple as that. Also, this video was going to be a lot longer. I went into your body's uh, connective tissue network because the whole point of this video is to just make you realize how intertwined electrons are, these subatomic particles are with everything. But I'm going to cut that part out and make another video on it entirely because it's very fascinating to talk about your body's connective tissue network. Um, and it goes a lot deeper than grounding. So that'll be my next video. So that's all I've got for electrons today. Um, I'll see you in the next one, which is going to be The Matrix. So see you guys later.